the essence of this collection is really about belonging. Belonging to a community, to an identity, to a nation, and belonging to a land, because this is the essence of us human beings. I think we all have this need to belong. I was invited by 81 Designs to create a collaboration using the Palestinian woman in the Ain Halwi camp. They work with embroidery, but this time what we decided is that we wanted to apply this embroidery on our furniture. Actually, this chair. <laughs> so it will be placed in the back. This was a challenge for them because they've never worked with a rigid material. They've always worked with soft material. أنا تطريز هويتي تطريز الفلسطيني على العد على طول بنعمل قطبة الأكس هلأ ندى مثلا طلبة قطب كتير غير الأكس اقترحت أنه يكون الشغل نافر يعني يكون الشجرة نافرة هذا بتحسه تطويري Even craft has to adapt as well If we keep doing embroidery on fabric people will stop seeing it It just disappears in people's eyes so when you introduce a new material or new technique, suddenly the craft is given new life. طرزنا اشياء كتير بس الاشي هي خطوة جديدة بعدها مش مارة علينا. هذي كشوف جغرافية فلسطين يعني هي لوحة معبرة عن أصول الواحد وجذوره إنه هو من هاي البلاد وبيمسط فيها كتير هو عم بطرزها. We chose the subject of um, a Palestinian landscape. Because it's been something that has surfaced a lot recently. نحنا منقول إنه تطريز الفلسطيني هو إثبات وجودنا هويتنا هو. So while they're working, they felt like dreaming of returning. الواحد يكون محروم من بلده وما قادر يوصل له ويوصل من كذا بيتعرف عليه من هالشغلات شو يعني. The fact that we're actually dividing the landscape in seven different chairs is like everyone who purchases the chair will have a piece of the land. So it's again about belonging and it's about a community and it's about the individual versus the, the group. <laughs>